A dark day on Dakar 2020. It's with a heavy heart that we begin with the tragic news that Paolo Gonçalves has died after crashing at kilometre 273 of today's seventh stage. We don't really know the circumstances, but it was a pretty fast track, and that's where Paolo crashed. The medical teams tried to resuscitate him, but unfortunately failed to do so, and he died at kilometre 273 of stage 7. Paolo was an iconic figure who'd been on the Dakar for a long time. Everyone knew him. Just five stages ago, he was changing the engine on his bike. He was really tenacious. He knew the risks of rallying. But when the worst happens, of course, it's very very tough for everyone. C'est très difficile pour tout le monde. This was the Portuguese rider's 13th Dakar. After five years with Honda, he'd embarked on a new adventure with Hero in 2020, although a broken engine on stage three had put pay to his overall ambitions. It was back in his native Portugal that the 40-year-old started his first Dakar in 2006, finishing 25th on the road from Lisbon to Dakar. He made the top 10 in 2009 and claimed his first stage victory in 2011, going on to take part in all but one of the South American editions. His best result was second overall in 2015 behind Mark Coma. The emotion was understandably raw at the bivouac in Wadi al Dawasir on Sunday as the terrible news spread. Especially tough for Honda where Gonçalves had spent five years of his successful career. You know, uh, riding motorcycles is a dangerous sport, so, um, you know, you, you, never, you never know what can happen. And uh, unfortunately, today we lost one of our uh, very own moto guys, Paulo Gonçalves. And, uh, you know, other than that, there's... There's not much to talk about. Um, you know, it's a sad day in the industry, in the rally world. And, you know, all of us here at Honda, I'm sure, are uh, praying for his family and uh, our thoughts are with them. Unfortunately, another member of the bike's family has left us. And every time, it's the same question. Is it worth competing? What's the point of it at all? We always ask ourselves the same question. What are we doing here? It's a very sad day for the Dakar, for all the competitors and everyone involved. When something like this happens, it leaves a very sour taste in the mouth. The entire Dakar family would like to extend its sincerest condolences to all of Paolo's family and friends.